Tom Roberts was an influential landscape painter. He had a profound impact on Australian art with his use of impressionistic techniques and promoting paintings outdoors or in plain air. He was considered the leader of the Heidelberg School, a vocal advocate for national subject matter. He produced many iconic artworks of rural labour and the light in the atmosphere of the bush. He was a skillful and versatile artist. Roberts was born in Dorchester, England. Roberts moved to Australia in 1869, where he studied at the National Gallery of Victoria Schools in Melbourne from 1874. Returning to England in 1881, he was selected to study in the Royal Academy. Back in Melbourne in 1885, Roberts initiated painting and sketching excursions to outer suburbs, establishing painting camps at Box Hill and Heidelberg, where he worked alongside Frederick McCubbin, Arthur Streeton and Charles Condor. Painting in the open air, they worked on representing Australia's light, heat, space and distance. In 1889, Roberts staged the 9 by 5 Impression Exhibition in Melbourne, which consisted of impressions of bush and city life rapidly painted on cigar box lids. Scorned by conservative critics, this groundbreaking, groundbreaking show reinforced the group's claim that they were creating a new type of art in Australia. In 1891, Roberts joined Streeton in Sydney, where he produced works such as Holiday Stretch at Coogee, 1888. He then travelled extensively in New South Wales and Queensland in search of subjects with historical and dramatic qualities, as well as painting the local environment. His increasingly large-scale paintings paid homage to rural life and pastoral industry, as in The Golden Fleece, 1894, or The Dangers and Romance of Bushranging, as in Bailed Up, 1895. He was commissioned to paint the opening of the first Federal Parliament of Australia in Melbourne in 1901. Dubbed the big picture, the painting was completed in London in 1903 and is now displayed in Parliament, in Parliament House, Canberra. After all Roberts achieved, he unfortunately died in 1931.